I'm Margaret Burton and I'm a pianist. I play piano a lot. I teach, I collaborate with other musicians, I sing, I perform, and I just, I play piano every chance I get. I think I first met Todd Hyde when I lived in Green Bay. I, I own a Steinway piano that was built in 1904 and was rebuilt. My dad had it rebuilt in the 30s. And I walked into the Hyde Music in Green Bay and someone pointed me to Todd. I was looking for someone to rebuild that piano. And he gave me a few names, but he also said, well, you ought to try out some of the things that are here in the shop. And at the time, I, I really, I really, this was my dad's piano and I really wanted to keep it and I still have it. But I was so um, taken by how knowledgeable he was about who all in the region would be, you know, people to talk to, how helpful he was. And then when I moved to the Fox Valley, um, anytime I needed music, anytime I was taking lessons with Larissa Topokareva down at Lawrence. And whenever I needed music, she'd say, well, run up to Hyde, they probably have it. And if they don't have it, they can get it. And I was always so impressed by how quickly things would come in. We come back often and are, are always, we feel welcomed. I feel welcomed here. There are pictures of me playing piano in diapers. I came from a musical family, so there really wasn't a choice. I was surrounded by music my whole life. So I started Suzuki violin when I was maybe five or six. I had like a half size violin. My little brother had a quarter size. I mean, it must have been this big. It was so tiny. But even when I was playing violin, I wanted to play piano because I wanted to play all the notes. And I figured I had 10 fingers. I wanted to play as much harmony as I could. When I'm feeling down or when I'm feeling really happy, I can always find something that matches my mood. Um, I listen to a lot of music, so I'm often trying to still, you know, when I was a kid, I did that still. When I hear something new, I want to take it to the piano and play it. You know, to me, it, it's all about creativity. It's all about tickling a part of your brain that you don't get to all the time. Also, I've come to realize that it's one place where we are always in that moment. There's just a lot going on and information hitting us all the time. This is more of a slow learning activity. You know, during the pandemic, a lot of people took up playing music who hadn't been at it a long time. I've heard from a lot more adult students in the last few years who said, you know, I started playing again in the last few years and I really like it. So it's never too late to come back to it never too early to start it. It's something that you can start as a young child and you can keep playing as long as your fingers will work or your voice still works. It, it's there for you.